friends, Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. And today I'm going to show you activities that we did that were hands-on to learn about adding and subtracting double digit numbers. You... Okay, I'm going to use these touch point math cards here. If you have not seen my video on touch point math, how you can uh, teach touch point math, and you're interested, I will try to remember to leave a link below to that video in the description box. If I forget, you can go back and look through my math videos on my channel and you should be able to find it easily. Okay, so I have, right now I have the ones that have the flowers on them just because it's summertime. What we did is basically I just took uh, two cards and I made a double digit. So we did, for example, 61, uh, say plus... 24 okay and you're gonna see I have a little clip of um, my student doing this activity so what I did is I had him draw the equal sign here and then um, I just used these little number signs his uh, addition and subtraction so I just put that here but you could also have your student just write a plus sign and then what we did is we practiced adding our ones place so one plus four is five and then i would have him write the number down here and you know six plus two is eight now if you have a student that is really struggling now my student didn't need to do this but you can use your touch points and you can use your touch points with your fingers or you can use your touch points with some manipulatives that i'm going to show you here in just a second so Let's say I have a student, a special needs student, or a student is just really struggling to understand the concept. Uh, what we would do is we would take our ones place, and I always tell the students to add, the, start with a bigger number, and then just add up. So I know I have four, I add one more, so I touch it, and that makes five. So four, five. Uh, over here, I would start with my six, and then add two more. Seven, eight. So we can use our touch points to add it and then we find our number. Now you can also use manipulatives on your touch points. So if your student needs those manipulatives and if they need to count out um, all the numbers, you can do that too. These are just pom-poms with magnets attached to them. And then I would just have them do one, two, three, four, and one more makes five and they can write their answer. And then here we have six plus two. Now, when uh, the picture, the touch point has a circle around it, then we count that one twice. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six plus two equals eight. Now, um, some kids aren't gonna need to do, they can start with the bigger number and then just use the manipulatives on the second number. So they can say six and then go seven, eight, and that will help them. Um, so you can use any kind of manipulative. Like I said, these are pom-poms with magnets attached to them. I just hot glued the magnets on there. And then uh, another thing you could use, just something small that's round are these buttons. So I, I like using those. Another option that I have are these little round gems. Get them um, in the planting section, like at the dollar store. I got a whole, you know, this whole thing for a dollar. And then uh, another option that the kids really do enjoy is Play-Doh. So what you can do is, say you wanna add 60 plus 20, which is really what this is, right? Cause this is your tens place. But you're adding six plus two, you can use your Play-Doh. They can roll them into balls, put the balls on top of the touch points, and then when they go to add, they just press it down. So they say six, seven, eight. Six plus two is eight, or 60 plus 20 is 80. And then we have our answer, okay? So that is what we did. I'm gonna show you a quick clip of him working on that. So this is the number 45, and this would be the number 
All right, we're gonna add these two numbers. Okay. And add plus three. So we have five ones and 45, we have three ones and 23. We're gonna add five plus three more makes what? Okay, then your tens, you're gonna add four plus two. This is really 40 plus 20, but we're gonna pretend it's just four plus two. So, 45, hold on, Mark, oh, James. 45 plus 23 equals 60, what number did you make? Eight. 68. Okay, good. I think seven. Okay, so write a seven for your ones. Subtraction. All right, so we have 98 minus 75. You're going to start with your ones place and do eight minus five. Okay, and if you are looking to get my Touchpoint math cards, I will leave a link below to my website where you can get those. I have different Touchpoint math cards for the different seasons of the year just to kind of make it fun. So these ones have flowers for like spring or summer. Okay, then the other activity that we did today is this. This is from a Math to Enjoy and Learn curriculum. I will leave a link below to that. And this is called Roll, Subtract, and Cover. So it comes with this mat that you print out. I put mine in a little plastic sleeve or you can laminate them. And then uh, it also comes with these cards, which I will take out. It, it also comes with this direction card that I always print out on label paper. And then I stick it to the bag where I'm gonna keep the activity so that I always have the directions with me. All right, so I'm gonna show you how you play this. Okay, what you need to do is you need to give your student one die. They, they only need one, they don't need a whole bunch of dice. And what they're gonna do is they're going to roll it, whatever it lands on, I rolled a number one. So I'm gonna look at the first problem in uh, my, in the box, and I'm going to subtract 25 minus 14. But what I need to do first is look through my cards and find that equation. So once you find the card, then the student will subtract. Five minus four is one. 20 minus 10 is 10. So 25 minus 14 is 11. Once they have their answer written down, I'm using a dry erase marker because these are laminated. Once they have their answer written down, then they can use any manipulative you want. I'm gonna use buttons. And they're going to cover up that problem because they have completed it. They can set their card you know, off to the side and roll again. So now I'm gonna roll again. This time I got two. So I'm going to do this problem, 29 minus 12. So I look through here, I find 29 minus 12. I write my answer. Okay. So the teacher may want to go back and check the student's answers if they're not sitting there right with them. And the nice part is they're writing them down with dry erase markers so then the teacher can just flip through the cards and see what the, the students wrote. And then I'm going to cover up that problem because I'm finished with it. Now, um, if I roll a two, let's say I roll a two again, now I'm gonna go to the next problem in that row. So right here where it's got the two, I'm gonna do the next problem, which is 37 minus 13. So now that I found that card, obviously I'm gonna keep going. And uh, write my answer, and then I'm going to cover it up. And that's what the student's gonna do. They're gonna keep on working if they have enough time to cover up the entire mat. Now let's say I rolled a two again. I did this problem and covered it up. And then um, later on, I rolled a two again. If you roll a two again and your whole row is covered up, then just roll again until you finally 
cover up, uh, roll something that isn't covered up. So that's the other activity we did today. I didn't get any video of him doing this one, uh, but uh, I wanted to share it with you in this video talking about double digit subtraction. And there's some more activities in the bundle that this, this activity comes in for subtraction. And uh, I will leave links below in the description box for that. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Hope these activities inspire you and your students to uh, have fun working hands-on to learn math. And we'll see you next time. Bye.